All across America, small businesses are facing a credit crunch. In Houston, Texas, gift shop owner Linda Heckman has turned to credit cards to keep her business operating because credit from the bank is hard to get. I use my credit cards in order to buy merchandise for the store and pay it back. So um, I'm 30 days. So, you know, if I'm doing that, then if I can't do that, then I can't buy merchandise. In Arlington, Texas, Roger Botti used to be able to get a seven-figure loan within days for his printing business. Not anymore, he says. Now I go to the same bank. It takes some, not weeks, but months to put a package together. By this time, uh, I may lose the project altogether. Business owners need credit to finance their operations. But experts say banks and other financial institutions are so worried about bad debt in the markets that they're afraid to lend money, even to reliable borrowers. And when businesses are able to borrow, they worry about whether their customers can afford to buy their products. In Dearborn, Michigan, car dealer Jay Sturt says this is the worst business environment in almost 20 years. Some of the banks Sturtz has worked with have stopped extending credit to his customers. Those banks kind of come in and, um, you know, we've had some good relationships with them, um, but they've definitely pulled back um, in the last, I, I would just, you know, the last three or four months. The U.S. Commerce Department says small businesses employ about half of America's private sector workers. Financial experts say if credit markets tighten further, small businesses could start laying off employees. Some of that has already happened in Los Angeles, says small business owner Liang Liang. He says many of the stores in his building have gone out of business. Before, a lot of people coming, but right now, you see, no people, no people coming. And that could drive up unemployment and possibly send the economy into a prolonged recession. Alice Rivlin was the first director of the Congressional Budget Office. She's now with the Brookings Institution in Washington. There's great uncertainty at the moment about the future course of the economy. The one thing we do know is if we don't restore credit uh, to its normal flow, we will have a much worse situation than we would have otherwise. The bailout plan from Washington is designed to restore confidence in the financial markets and free up credit. But small businesses believe their troubles are not likely to end anytime soon. Leita Hong Fincher, VOA News.